ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਐ ਇੱਕ ਦੇ ਬਾਈ ਚਾਂਸ ਵੇਖ ਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਕਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਲੈ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਹੈ ਹੂੰ ਅੱਛਾ ਹੈ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਆ ਜੀ ਬਿੱਲੀ ਪਈ ਸੀ ਬਿੱਲੀ ਡਾਲੀ ਨੂੰ ਆਹੋ ਇਹ ਸਾਈਲ ਅੱਛਾ ਹੈ ਐਸੇ ਕਰ ਲੈਣੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਬੰਦਾ ਤੇ बेटा बाबा जी के बड़े बाबा जी के दोस्त है उनकी शक्ल ऐसे अब दिखाओ मुझे तो मैं अच्छा लगता है बुलगा आप कुछ मुझे है तो लग गया आगे जाट सर ये यार बताया बोल रहा है ए हेलो सायना सर सायना सर तू कूड़ी की नहीं चीज आ दी आशी आगे जाट जा अस्सलाम वालेकुम हां तेरे हो तेरे को शेर फ्रांस से देखो वो तो देखो दिखाओ बाहर लगे ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਤੂੰ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਨਾਈਟ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਬੋਲ ਲੈ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਤੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਚੂੜੀ ਛਾਇਆ ਆਵਰ ਆਵਰ ਅੰਕਲ 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 ਅੰਕ
Man, get the sneakers! Yours? Ah, Yours man, too! Thank you, sir. Buddy, man, one. Oh, man, my head's on. Thank you for that. Sir, boy. Come on, dear. You ask me, Ravi. Oh, buddy, they're all deep. Just like that. Pass on, sir. Put that, pass on, sir. कहना मैं रानी के नवाब बोलता है। हाँ। हाँ। वो क्या है भाई? बहुत है तुझे क्यों? पैसे पटिया आने हैं तुझे? नदी आके आने का। बहुत है पैसे ना पटो। हाँ। अच्छा भाई कौन आएगी यार? भाई को पांच चार जो ओल्ड एक्सट्रा कार्ड तो मुझे पोस्ट नहीं किया था। अच्छा भाई तारा खा। जिस दिन फिर हम बनी हैं ना तो टेप की जगह नहीं हाँ ले आओ ईशा ना तो ओ ईशा तो ईशा आप क्यों बोल रहा हूँ मैं ईशा ओ एक ईशा मेरी ओ ये मेरी ईशा है हैं ओ ईशा आना है बुपास ओ बुपास आ जा हैं ईशा हाँ जी एन क्लास का ही है एन क्लास का ही है क्या ना बड़ी उम्दी उम्दी है ओ नहीं पढ़ने ले उम्दी है ना मकसद है क्या इंद्रा कि उन्होंने ना वो दर्द तो नहीं होती है रेडी उम्दी सी ना शाम तो कोई नहीं बस रोना कह लो रोना कर रोना कर हाँ अच्छा रोना कर रोना दो में जीरा है हाँ बस दो वाला मिक्स चाहिए अगली बारी अगली बारी जितने आओ ना ते मेक शोर करना कि तुष्टी ना लाओ ना क्योंकि साथे को लीस वाले जाने वाले मेरा नहीं भी आज आज मैं आज मैं आ क्या गोड़ा ले चावल पका कह दी मैंने नहीं पकाने यहाँ दे नहीं 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 बेचारे उन्हें बना नहीं की है लेकिन मैं कह दी भैया कि जिस वक्त करो दास हो देना क्या कि जामू रे ने साड़ी बचे था अच्छा अच्छा साड़ी बचे था अली गर्मी है छुट्टियां काट के पी हूँ जा रहे हैं स्कूल हाँ लेने तो टाइम ही नहीं किरे पाए हैं उनका फोन जाम नहीं काट के आ दो भी दे बस साड़ी तो दो भी ले छुट्टियां दी है अच्छा बाकी ये कोई स्कूल नहीं खुले हैं ना ये फेडरल कमेंट देने ना 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 अच्छा अच्छा आ बस और और � Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum Dere 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 मायरा ओ मेरी मायरा बेटी क्या हाल है बस कब आएंगे बस बेटा थोड़े दिनों में आ जाऊंगा इंशाल्लाह ताला हाँ ठीक है हाय ओके हेलो ये कौन है वाक्स नाम मिसबा ओ मेरी मगर जी हाँ अच्छा अच्छा हाँ हाँ जी जी वाक्स नाम मधु क्या हाल है मैं ठीक हूँ बेटा तुम सुनाओ अब आशी बैठी है आशी बिल्कुल ठीक है बेटा वो सामने बैठी हंस रही है बात कर लो ये लाश आशी से बात कर लो क्या लेकर क्या आशी बोली हो आप मुझे पता नहीं क्या क्या हाल है मैं ठीक हूँ आप कैसी हैं मैं भी ठीक हूँ स्कूल जा रही हूँ आह अभी छुट्टियाँ हैं अच्छा आप जा रही है
वो लाइन चला दो आशी इधर मार जल्दी से इधर चलिए चलो तू तीनों कठे खड़े हो जाओ भाई आशी आशी मेरी तुझे आवाज शायद सुनाई नहीं भाई के पास चलिए तीनों शायद कठे हो जाओ तुम फ्रांस एक जगह फेंक तीनों भाई कठे राज इधर इधर तुझे कोई काट नहीं नहीं तू मरता है इतनी जल्दी
अब वो और ले लेंगे ये तो बेटा घर भी ले आओगे तो वो ये सारे खा जाएंगे शराब पानी नहीं मत पीओ काट ले गया अगर हाथ लगाओगे What happened? Oh, he's got a bucket piece of the drive. 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 He's got a bucket pi
बेटा मुसीबत क्या पड़ी है कितनी खुश फिर उनका अपना घर है वो फाइट क्या करे छे छा पानी जो है तैरी है शहजादे पानी भी जमे पानी को फिर लाए ना लेकिन चलो नहीं ये भी जाएंगे नहीं फिर उड़ेंगे नहीं वो खुद ही उड़ेगी चलो अब हम आओ ले देखना फिर कितनी आती है ना फन होता है ना इट्स ऑफ फन बस बेटा आ लग सी दी है बैठे रहते हैं लेकिन खाना आप कल लाएंगे दे हैव टू डिनर अब रोज क्या देखो ना रोज क्या अगर 5 डॉलर भी आ रहा हो तो देखो फिर उड़ रही है आप कैसे उठ सकते हो नहीं कि मुझे पता है मैं कहां ऊपर ऊपर और ले रहे हैं बाहर जब यहां पे उठ सकती है तो ऊपर भी उठ सकती है लेकिन ज्यादा ऊंची नहीं जाती है देखो नींद कैसे करती है उन्हें पैर नीचे रखती है ये बहुत सी बात फिर स्थिति है ना कैसे लाइक ये सी हां ये तो पार्टी होता होगा अरे वो भी तक पानी के अंदर नहीं है हमने आपको ड्राई ऑफ करें पानी पी रही है देखा कितने गर्दन में प्रास नहीं हुआ circling why is that bradley giving this guy a hard time sunday under the threat of nato air strikes serbian gunners held their fire today and un peacekeepers extended their control in the bosnian capital of sarajevo while on the diplomatic front president clinton is now pressing all sides to give ground and settle the war in bosnia this amounts to new pressure on the muslims especially from sarajevo correspondent barry peterson begins our coverage a Bosnian mortar pulled behind a UN truck. The first fangs of war pulled off. अगर हमको सोचना था ना तो अभी आपको लेकर डाइट जाना 
Are we a brown or a white or a little girl? Yeah, I'm going to get you in here. Hey, look at him. He's going to get that. Oh, what's your story? I'll put it in there. I'll put it in there. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. You're all there. Yeah. I think we should put tomorrow. Close up, Kar. Oh, wow. I should draw a painting of it. My teacher knows that. Can you close up? बार बार ना शेयर ना उसको एक ही जाप रहा है अब मैं कल मूवी के ये पहुंच रहा कि आप मैं कल हाँ तो उस फोटो जो लानी थी ना कि जगह कठिन होती है तो लानी है इसी फोटो ऐसे नहीं सी अच्छा लेकिन कभी उधर ले लें इसी फोटो कभी उधर Gonna drive her there. Somehow we're gonna get her there. Uh, I guess Bradley Airport is still open. They have one runway. Uh, the planes actually. Uh, Mike, Mike Sharmack said that they're gonna take the wings off the planes. They're just gonna roll over 91. They're not actually gonna fly. They're just gonna. They won't be any heat or food, sir, but we're all the way we're right. to Tampa, Florida. But uh, give us a call at 234-0025. We don't want to hear from people whose street hasn't been, hasn't been plowed yet because uh, most streets aren't plowed. We just came from uh, outside to our Wendy Hudson, her lovely North Haven uh, ski mm -hmm. hat on. And uh, roads, most of uh, the side roads are still impassable. And uh, you've heard it a thousand times, you'll hear it a thousand more times. If you don't have to go out, don't. So, we're having fun. We're right. having a great time. We're trained professionals in this field, and we're the only ones allowed to actually go on the road. You know, trained professionals do not get stuck in snowbanks, nor do they get into car accidents. But uh, another Friday storm, Friday night storm. So, we're here with you. Lots of fun. Two three four zero zero two five. How big will your snowman be? Well, uh, it's eleven inches out on the ground right now. Eleven inches. How many are we expecting? Seventeen? Uh, no, actually, I think thirteen ties the record for nineteen seventy-eight, something like that. I don't really. Uh, was it seventy-eight? Seventy-eight. So Bridgeport apparently had eleven inches on the ground already. So I thought probably surpassed that record. It's a it's a pretty bad storm. I. Uh, I got let out around 10 o'clock uh, this morning. Most corporations, I think, did the same thing. And um, I hit the driveway when you guys came to pick me up, and I was like, oh, my God, this stuff is pretty deep. But, uh, Very deep. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Len? <laughs> we'll put you on the spot. What do you do you want the audio? What do you like, take me home. We drove around North Haven. We got some footage that you'll see later. And... <laughs> um, roads are pretty bad out there. People are venturing out to... Uh, to get, uh, uh, Mike, Mike Shermack, the director, just walked in to, uh, to give us last minute, uh, things. And, uh, we're blanking out and, uh, on the screen. The monitor's here. out, so we don't know if we're, we're off or we're on or whatever, but, uh, hey, they just want to tell you about a really big honking piece of lint. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> hey, you too can have lint in your ear. Thanks, Wayne. Hey, no problem. <laughs> That's what happens, you know, you come in for the, we come yeah, in the elements. Yeah, they look more than attractive. That's okay. Look at you. Got my there you go. Camera too. So here I am, I should be talking. You should be talking. Yeah. Actually, no, just move your lips. So anyway, <laughs> it looks like a bad Chinese uh, movie, yeah. You know those Chinese movies? Oh, right.
But anyway, two three four zero zero two five seven. Those of you who do not, we don't want to hear from people whose roads have not been plowed. Well, let's be the only people that are going to call, and then we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, because we're going to be. Uh, you're very lucky. We're not going to be on for very long. So uh, we already went out. We faced the elements, and uh, we're moving on. After this, we're going out. So uh, we're leaving. But. Uh, like I said, most people, most people got let out early. When you have your own business, uh, uh people, sure do. People do not cancel their massages. No, they and need those massages. I bet you all the stress they get out of work early. They call their massage therapist right away. Want to make an appointment? Business will be booming. Uh, unfortunately, when you've been out shoveling the driveway, you need a massage. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need some. You need somebody to give you a massage. But Absolutely. Business will be picking up. People will shovel along and. What, most people come in for stress problems or what? Stress, whiplash, chronic whiplash. fatigue. Yeah. Oh, that's not fun. Diabetics, TMJs. TMJs, I have that. Do you? Yeah. Can you get? Oh, get a two shot with camera one. Will you want to be on the air this is great. No, not really. Let's uh, let's shoot the back wall. Yes, if you haven't guessed it already, North Haven, it's snowing out. Uh, accumulations like an, an inch per hour, a couple inches per hour actually. It's pretty deep out there. Wow. You don't really care. <laughs> we just drove by, <laughs> we just got one, we drove by one road in North Haven, a bunch of kids out there throwing snowballs at moving, moving a vehicle. That's not, they didn't get us though. Well, that's not, yeah. We were ready to jump out of the NHTV van and show them that the all weather NHTV van. That's right. They'd show them that uh, that's not a cool thing to do. Van. It's bad enough uh, driving. Uh, don't throw snow at moving cars going by. That's not a smart thing. A lot of people out there actually with snow blowers. A good thing, Wendy, you already did your drive up. Didn't, didn't come over to do mine, but that's okay. <laughs> You'll do that after we leave here, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, how do we go and have a cold one? Oh, yeah. A cold soda. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and a hot chocolate. And a hot toddy. Yeah. And a hot toddy. Even though Wendy doesn't know what a hot toddy is. But, hey, let's talk about other things besides the weather. Shall we? Well, call us now at NHTV. Two three four zero zero two five. Susan, David, Anthony, and Todd North Haven. Give me a call so I know you guys are uh, okay. And the phone's ringing. And uh, hopefully we'll hear from my mother. Maybe we'll hear from Mrs. Demattis. Hey, Mrs. Demattis, if you're out there, give us a call. At yeah. Three four zero zero. Uh, Sam Bartlett in North Haven. We heard from her at the Super Bowl. Line twelve. Going to line twelve. And uh, <laughs> I call you on the air. Hello. Oh, it's Casper the Friendly Ghost. So nice to talk to you again, and have a nice night. Bye-bye. But anyway, let's look at what stewardesses do that. They, they practice that. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. As you're leaving the plane. Isn't that irritating? I'm sorry. I, I, I told you before I just go off. So what, what else do we want to talk about? Sports news. How about sports scene? What's going on with sports scene these sports, days? Sports scene. Uh, what you doing now? A little snowboarding out there? Yeah, actually, yeah. Went to Potter Ridge. You're supposed to go tomorrow. You came along with me last week. We got some interviews from, from different people. That's a real neat sport. Uh, kids. Have you tried it? Have you done snow? No, I haven't been, uh, haven't been able to you try. Ski? I ski really well. Right into the lounge, it's great. I'm one of those lounge <laughs> right. people, you know, that you put the fake cast on and you sit in front of the fireplace and you watch everybody else come down the hill. That's me. I went uh, one time, a long time ago, on a date. It was my first time in last time skiing. He was an expert skier, and I was not. I went right through the barricades at Powder Ridge. They had these big metal crosses in the ground, and all these little kids go zooming by you, and I kind of felt kind of stupid. I'm doing a snow plow going down. These little kids are, woo! So I said, ah, I'm going to go down, too. I shouldn't have done that. I flew over a jump. I landed great, and... Uh, kept going. I couldn't stop. Went through the barriers, went down the ditch. That was the first and last time uh, skiing. Not but how snowboarding would be. Speaking of, not, we'll get back to sports in a second. Speaking of, uh, of skiing and what have you, did you see that guy for the Olympics? He does the, like, the, the ski, the long jump, and he was carrying the torch. I didn't see him. Oh, my God. Poor guy. Well, he's not carrying the torch in the opening ceremonies. As he came down the hill with the torch in his hand. He fell. He crashed. And he tumbled and got a concussion and oh uh, my. yeah, I, I don't see why they had him do that anyways. You know the jump that I'm talking about? They go down the big hill and they fly up. Oh yeah, oh they have him hold the torch. 
going to give away an NHTV t-shirt to anybody that can identify the umbrella man. <laughs> yeah, an NHTV t-shirt or whatever, anybody who can uh, identify the umbrella man in, in the gas station, yeah, in the clip. Um, but uh, sport scene is uh, back just uh, for snowboarding anyway. We'll see what happens after that. I tried to get Mo Vaughn from the Boston Red Sox, but uh, it's hard to get uh, it's hard to get interviews, believe it or not. Tomorrow, I mean, uh, yeah, tomorrow we were supposed to go up on the ski lift, but due to the weather conditions, I don't think you're going to see very much from the ski lift anyway. So, hey, Mike Johnson, if you're out there, give us a call at two three four zero zero two five. Yeah, Mike, we haven't heard from you since the last snowstorm. Maybe we can get a few more uh, CDs. What do you think? Maybe we can do some karaoke. Yeah, yeah. say that. Come on, no. <laughs> Come on down, Mike. Yeah. But uh, oh, hey, you, Mike. Hey, give us a call two three four zero zero two five. People in North Haven. For anybody who might be interested in doing uh, karaoke or karaoke, however you say it, uh, are you a singer? Are you a star waiting to, to shine in North Haven? Do you want to show your talents? Uh, we're thinking about doing something like that, some kind of a show. We want to see how many people would be interested. Uh, give us a call. What man is going to sing You Don't Bring Me Flowers anymore? He's the first on the list. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go to the phone and see what's going on. Hello? 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 Who's this? This is John. John? Hey, what's up? Not too much. Where are you calling from, John? Uh, North Haven. No, North Haven, John. Uh, Down Drive. Ah, Down Drive. Okay, and I bet, you, so I bet you you haven't uh, been plowed out yet. Uh, nope. No? What are you guys doing tonight? Another Friday night storm. Having a party? Uh, no, not, you know, no, you know, can't go out or anything, you know? Yeah. It's all snowed in. Did you, did you go out and shovel your driveway yet? Yeah. Hey, do, do uh, your neighbors a favor. If you have any elderly neighbors around, try to help them out a little bit. All right. Because the snow is real heavy. Yeah, I know. You know, uh, d how old are you? I'm 16. Oh, well, then he can get out and drive around. You don't have a plow, do you? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> you could come and plow us out now. Oh, we could. Nothing's going on tonight. Uh, nothing at all. I don't hear any uh, party noise in the background or anything. Uh, there's nothing, you know? Hey, you guys are going to be going to school until, like, August. Do you realize that? Well, my, my school is different. I go to Notre Dame. Oh. So, uh, we don't have to make up any snow days or anything. Oh. How come that? How come you, what do you get, certain amount of snow days, or you don't have I, to? I have no idea. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's you, true. That rates. That's pretty good. I wouldn't mind that. Mom and dad are yeah, I tell you, I want to tell you one thing is, uh, back in my day, uh, that uh, we, we went to, s the snow was, John, it was this high. We had to walk for miles to get to school. And uh, seven have you miles. heard that story before? In the NBA, and a couple of the Minnesota Timberwolves will be playing in this ball game tonight. We'll be meeting the team and the coaches. The Phenoms, as they are called, will be coached by Doug Collins, our Doug Collins, as you look at Tony Kukoc. And the Sensations will be coached by Casey Jones. And interestingly enough, there's Casey Jones, a couple of world championships at Boston. The thing I remember most about Casey Jones, he played for the Celtics nine years. And his first eight years with the Celtics, they won world championships. That might spoil a player. Well, it, it was nice that he had two more as a coach so that he has one for each finger. <laughs> All right, so Ten rings. Yeah, Casey's been in a few pressurized situations in his day. I would say so. It'll be interesting to get his view after the ball game of uh, these players getting to see them in the rookies game. This game is replacing the Legends game. The NFL uh, NHL NBA Players Association got together to make the decisions on this that they would be able to put these two teams together and give the charity to the retirement fund. And now let's meet the players and the coaches tonight and let's go to PA announcer Bill Westland. And now, please welcome the competitors in the inaugural Schick Rookie Game, presented as a joint effort of the NBA and the NBA Players Association. Playing for the sensations. <laughs> All rookies in scoring and minutes played. He helped the University of Kentucky to the NCAA Final Four last season. From the Dallas Mavericks, the Monster Bash, Jamal Mashburn. This all-around 
forward has been a major contributor for the Cleveland Cavaliers. As a college senior, he was named Pac-10 Player of the Year after leading Arizona to another conference championship, Chris Mills. This hustling forward returned from a year in Europe to become one of the best rookie shot blockers in the league. He's a force up front for the New Jersey Nets, P.J. Brown. This forward was named National College Player of the Year last season after a standout career at Indiana University. One of the top rookie scorers in the NBA from the Washington Bullets, Calvert Chaney. This talented point guard has started every game this season as the new director of the Los Angeles Lakers offense. He leads the team in assists and three-pointers, Nick Van Exel. This towering center has already become one of the top shot blockers in the NBA. Standing seven foot six, he can dunk a basketball without leaving his feet. From the Philadelphia 76ers, Sean Bradley. A six foot eight rebounding machine who has become the chairman of the boards for the Dallas Mavericks. As a college senior, he led the nation in rebounding in 1992, Ron Popeye Jones. This gifted guard is only 21 years old, but already one of the best all around players in the NBA. He brings excitement to one of the league's best young teams from the Orlando Magic, Anthony Penny Hardaway. And coaching the sensations, a man who owns more championship rings than he has fingers, Hall of Famer, Casey Jones. Casey Jones, quite the player in his own right. He played with the Celtics during glory years. Casey Jones dishing off. He not only played with some great players, but he coached some great players at Boston, of course, in the era of the McHales and the Dennis Johnsons and Larry Bird and won two championships in the 80s with the Boston Celtics, and he'll be coaching these youngsters here tonight. And now, uh, playing for the Phenoms, the youngest player in the NBA and the first pick of the 1993 NBA draft, He's already a force in the middle for the Golden State Warriors, leading all rookies in rebounds and slam dunks, Chris Webber! <laughs> this relentless rebounder hustled his way into the NBA after playing three seasons in Europe. He's one of the league's top rebounders from the Indiana Pacers, Antonio Davis. This exciting young point guard reminds many of his idol and mentor, and now teammate, Isaiah Thomas. From the Detroit Pistons, Lindsey Hunter. After helping the Croatian national team to a silver medal at the 1992 Summer Olympics, this versatile forward is now helping the Chicago Bulls chase another championship, Tony Kukos. Selected late in the 1993 NBA draft, this forward's defense and rebounding earned him a spot in the starting lineup of the Utah Jazz. A former star for Long Beach State University, Brian Russell. Also a silver medalist for the Croatian National Olympic team, this talented forward was the NBA's Rookie of the Month for November, ranking among the top newcomers in scoring, rebounding, and field goal percentage. From the Boston Celtics, Dino Raja. Point guard with a sweet shooting touch. He plays a key role on one of the NBA's best teams. He already holds a team record for the most three-pointers by a rookie. From the Houston Rockets, Sam Cassell. From your Minnesota Timberwolves, a powerful young player who is fast becoming one of the most explosive scorers in the NBA. He's dazzled you throughout the season with his spectacular play, Isaiah Ryder. This point guard led all rookies in assists through the first two months of the season. We are honored to have him here and wish him all the best for a complete recovery. From the Sacramento Kings, Bobby Hurley.
Coaching the Phenoms, a four-time NBA All-Star and former head coach of the Chicago Bulls, Doug Collins. And you may notice a similarity here in the young Chris Collins from Duke and Doug with the 76ers. Of course, Chris doesn't have the gold chain. These were during the years in Chicago. Doug thought he had lost the game. He won it in there with young son Chris. And, of course, now our commentator on TNT. And he'll be coaching the Phenoms here tonight. And you're looking at them. Hubie, if you had to pick one, which best team? Are you kidding? Come on. <laughs> You're going to put me on a spot in an all-star game? <laughs> Let's go. Well, you go with Casey. I'll go with Doug. Now, I'll get you back to that in a moment. Performing the national anthem here at the Target Center is George Wesley Jr., an 11-year-old fifth grader from Oklahoma City. Most recently appeared on nationally syndicated Star Search 94. This is George Wesley Jr. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hear at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and broad cards he's almost a conservation and Hubie this is a pretty good well-balanced lineup here well they're playing their normal positions and, and that's interesting that they would be able to form a club that way here's Doug Collins starting lineup you can see right here Chris Weber must play center for this unit Kukoc had a small forward Raj had a big forward for Boston so we have the same we have a nice balanced group but like we said earlier there'll be three three substitutions for each ball club and then that's where the players will get out of position we will play two 15-minute halves here so we're going to be seeing a, a very nearly complete basketball game two 15 minutes halves with the with the clock stopping and we will uh, have 10 team fouls fouls will be called on players but nobody will foul out so we won't be losing an Anthony Hardaway or a Chris Weber due to foul trouble in the ball game and the man who's tossing it up was once the big man, he sure the Minneapolis was. Lakers, George Mikan. What well, a legend. They won three championships in a row. They had uh, Vern Mickelson and, and uh, Palmer in the corner. And, and then I think uh, Slater Martin and Whitey Skoog may be in the backcourt. Now that's impressive, Hubie. Now that's a back in the 50s young, A now. man as young as you are that remembers <laughs> that is George Mikan. Pollard and Mickelson at the forwards. They were considered the greatest front line in the history of the game for many, many years. The honorary tip-off, and now our officials are Ted Bernhardt, Joe DeRosa, and Jim Kinsey. And the first rookie's game is underway. Kukoc gets the jump. In white, the Doug Collins Phenoms. And number one from the Detroit Pistons, Lindsey Hunter. 
Pass inside to Weber. The hook shot over Bradley. Well, the teams had a chance to work out yesterday for an hour. You could see a little organization there, a nice baseline screen to free up Weber that time. Here is Nick Van Exel out of the Cincinnati Bearcats. Van Exel got a starting role in his rookie year. Into the corner, Jamal Mashburn, who's been carrying a big load in Dallas. Mashburn is having an outstanding season in regards to scoring points, but he's having a difficult time shooting, only shooting right at that 40% mark. J.R. Ryder follows his own shot. Isaiah Ryder, I say J.R. After coming out of college, J.R. changed his name to Isaiah, and he will be known henceforth as Isaiah Ryder. He'll be in the slam dunk competition coming up. Uh, he's not short of confidence. Uh, on draft night, <laughs> he guaranteed a victory in the slam dunk competition before he'd even been invited. <laughs> he is invited and is here. Mashburn against Weber. Mashburn Jamal hits the jumper. Mashburn. That was the big debate before the, the draft. Who was better? Well, I, I think that uh, Golden State very happy with their choice with Weber. Uh, Orlando extremely happy with Hardaway. Hunter has it tipped off. It will belong to the Collins Phenom. And the thing to remember about that trade, not only did you get Hardaway for that first pick, but you also get three first-round picks for the future. Hunter hits the three. He's a very, very talented young man. Average 26 points a game in college, and you know that he can score. Chris Mills dishing off to Bradley out at the high post, being played by Dino Raja. Quick hands from Hunter, too. Punches it away from Van Exel. Down to Bradley, looking for the hook. And finding it. I'm happy for him. And you know, he's making progress. Within the last month of this season, he has really improved in all facets of the game. He only plays 28 minutes a game. Tony Kukoc had moments of brilliance this first half of the season with Chicago. Another three. This one missed Chris Mills out of Arizona. Before that, with Kentucky, you may recall, all the way coast to coast, Mills reverse play in. Mills very talented. Started out his career at Kentucky for a year, then transferred to Arizona. You know, player of the year in the Pac-10 as a senior, getting quality minutes at Cleveland. Has started quite a few ball games for them. There's a mismatch. Hunter got matched up with Bradley, lobbed it inside. They move it around to Kukoc for the drive. Oh, uh, nice pass. To Raja, the Croatian sensation, to his former Croatian teammate, Dino Raja. And back to the lay -in. All Raja had to do was take an extra step, and he had a layup. I know Kukoc is going to tell him, if I'm going to pass the ball to you, please move towards it. <laughs> uh, the foul called, and we will remind you here that in white, Doug Collins' group, the Phenoms, in the teal uniforms, the sensations, coached by Casey Jones. I kind of wanted to call him Casey's kids. Well, this young man is really a talent. Not only does he give you the points, you can see the assistant steals, but then he chips in at that two-guard position. He's in the top five guards in the league in rebounding, averaging over five a game. I'll tell you, a couple of things go right in adding a, a couple of missing pieces in Orlando. They could be championship contenders quickly. Absolutely. He has beautiful hands. He has soft hands, and he never makes a spectacular play. All of his plays he makes look easy. The pass is right on the money. Isaiah Ryder looking for a pick. Gets a big one from Weber. Wanted the roll, couldn't get the ball in. Raja is open. Beautiful pass that time. Anytime you get trapped, they were rotating right to the basket. Beautiful. And excellent from long range. Rebound, Dino Raja. Lindsey Hunter for the Pistons. This guy can move. Behind the back, Roger couldn't handle it. This guy can move, too. Mashburn to Hardaway. Nice. The lob, and oh. missed the jam. What a play. Well, two guys went for that. They both thought that the pass was for that. Mashburn and Mills, and we had a collision in midair. <laughs> now, keep an eye on this. You're going to see Hardaway put it up there. Now, watch the collision that we have. They both think that it's their ball. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the first four-handed jam in NBA history. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there's been a four-handed jam previously. 11-10 Phenoms there in white, coached by Doug Collins. Mashburn from the baseline. Mashburn has the complete game. He has a three-point game. He's second of all of the players here in attempts and threes. He has a great game with his back to the basket, can dribble, take it to the hole strong. Mashburn. 
And Exel with the lob to Hardaway. I think right now, Doug is going to have to talk to his team about their transition defense. <laughs> All right. Stations 14 to 11 with their lead here after trailing early in the contest. Remember playing a 15-minute half. 10.52 to go in the first half. Chris Weber matched up against Bradley. Off to Isaiah Ryder from 19. Mashburn, look at him handle the ball. Complete player, Van Exel. With the lob to Hardaway. Remember, he's 6'8". Stepped on the baseline. It'll go the other way. Now, this is a nice move. Van Exel looking always down on the baseline. Hardaway coming from the opposite wing. Right now, see, you have a problem with Doug Collins' team. J.R. Ryder and Kuko are not getting back defensively to help out Lindsey Hunter. Now, any time that you play all-star games, you know, it's very difficult to discipline these guys and tell them, listen, uh, any time that the point guard drives to the basket, our two and three people, meaning the second guard and the small forward, you must rotate back and help out here. Now, some substitutions coming into the ballgame. Popeye Jones is in. Of course, he plays along with Calvin Cheney, Antonio Davis in the ball game, and make that P.J. Brown in the ball game. All three players that we just introduced played in Europe a year ago. Byron Russell also on the floor. Hunter. With the drive and the dish to Chris Weber. Hunter has such a quick first step that you, you, must, you must shade him behind the backboard. If you go to make the trap, he will... Make the pass in traffic. Here's P.J. Brown. Plays for New Jersey now. A long range miss from Anthony Hardaway. Antonio Davis, he can really board. Bullock pass inside out of bounds. It'll belong to the Phenoms, coached by Doug Collins, and Dino Raja will trigger the play. I'd like to bring out a point here. Raja's 26 years of age, but Coop Coach Davis and P.J. Brown are all 25 years of age. You say, hey, Weber's only 20, and they're all in this rookie game. Coop Coach leans in, makes the pass to Brian Russell. Brian Russell with the Utah Jazz came out of Long Beach State. He's 23 years old. He was the 45th pick in the second round for Utah this an year. An excellent choice. They love his defense, the fact that he can help out on the boards. He starts regularly for the Utah Jazz. Lindsey Hunter. Van Exel, good matchup there. And here's Chris Weber handling out on the open floor. Behind the back pass, Hill. Advised. Who coach breaks up the lob attempt inside? It was they were looking for Hardaway. And let's go to Craig Sager now, who's with a, uh, the uh, antithesis of a rookie, Kevin McHale. Well, Bob, we talk about the rising stars in the league. Obviously, a transition period. One of those who has left the game recently, Kevin McHale. What are your thoughts as you look at how the league has changed and the young guys playing now? Well, it's great to have all a rookie team. I think that our game, I think the people get a chance to see the stars of the future. The league's changed. I'm not going to go through a flux anytime you have an era where you have a, a Michael a Jordan, a Magic, and a Larry Bird. That's a heck of an area to try to follow. So there's a lot of those guys that have left. A little bit of luster is off the game. I don't think the teams are quite as good as they used to be. But that's going to pick back up again. I think the younger teams, the Orlandos, the Charlottes, are going to, are going to be the teams of the future. You missed the game? No, I enjoy what I'm doing right now, watching it and kind of being this, this close to it. Sad to watch the Celtics? Well, I'll stop watching the Celtics sometimes. But they're going to go through a period of growth, too. They'll be better in a couple of years. Okay, thanks a lot, Bob. Okay, sure. 18-15, Casey Jones' sensation rookie team leading. And now it's 2015 as P.J. Brown scores. He has his first basket of the game. P.J. Brown, an excellent pickup this year uh, for New Jersey. He replaced Chris Morris at that small forward position. Now, he's 6'11 and can play defense and rebound for you. Weber has six points to lead all scorers for the Phenom. And Hardaway has six for the Sensations. Brian Russell on the break. Weber out in front. Lost the control. It'll belong to the sensation. Leading 20 to 17. Seven minutes, 45 seconds remaining in the first half. Remember, we are playing two 15-minute halves here in the first annual Schick rookie game on All-Star Saturday night.
The legend is coming to TNT. I'm good. Don't get carried away. Jimmy Smith's Cheech Marin, the Cisco Kid. Hey, Pancho. Hey, Cisco. Let's ride! Tonight at 10.30 p.m. on TNT. TBS presents The Great Westerns. A week of classic movies from the world's greatest movie library. The Great Westerns, beginning Monday, only on TBS. I was in town for business, and thanks to the rental car, I had time to stop by the old neighborhood. The place hasn't changed a bit. Room for one more? Can't be the shoes. Want to visit your old neighborhood? Rent from Dollar. They're right on the airport, right on the money. Hey! It's gotta be the shoes, right? Nope, it's the rental car. Call Dollar, the official car rental company of the NBA. Pezan, 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 Kurumaika beta. Hmm. Yeah, Shiraz. You know him. Thank you. 
upset. I'm just dying on my seat, sorry. I can't take it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say something, Jeez. You said enough. Why, ya kuramai? Photo lagi hai. Acha. Achi tera lagao. Mask pen lo. I'm only joking. Khalid. I can't get you in the photo. Come over here. Hello, Fizan. Wave hi. Hi, Karo. Fizan, hi, Karo. sign language so now go put go not do it is boys down my class is here it's not going to get it happy boss is it good him get it i think you smell naam se chalo naam se idhar aao oh i guess you put that Yeah, this is what they had a child. 
ठीक है वही ना मुझे मुश्किल हो जाती है जब कैमरा वो तो देखो